In this video, we're going to look at how we're going to create a basic form. So I'm not going to go into the details. I'm not going to go crazy showing how to make really in-depth forms. I'm just going to show you how to make a very basic form. So we go to create and we go to form wizard. And then first things first, we need to choose what field we want on our form. So things like ID, if that's an auto number, if that's the primary key, unless you actually need to manually put that in, we're going to set that off. We can ignore that. So we need the manufacturer, we need the model, colour, how much you're buying it for, how much you're selling it for. So we need everything except the primary key. Press next. Then you can choose how you want your layout. So you've got tabular, date sheet, justified, or column art. I just usually I go for the column art, I just leave it as is. Press next. What title do you want? So cars input form. Well, that is absolutely fine. Then we're going to click modify the form's design. I press finish. And you can see I've got my form. Now, changing how things look. Um, Firstly, it's relatively easy. You can go to just um, colors in general. So I can click here and I can choose red or whatever color I want. So I'm just in home. Or what you can do, if I go back to here, if you go to the property sheet, you can choose like back color. If I just move this up a little bit, you've got things like back color. You can choose, you know, things like that as well. So you've got this menu, or you can just use a paint bucket. And you can go for all the colors. So say I wanted. Um, Everything to be yellow, and well, it looks a bit gross. Like that, that's that done. And I can do the same for the boxes and stuff as well. Now, going to more IGCSE, we'll look at most forms you're going to get are going to ask you to put in um, a few buttons that you have to sort of have. So if we just look at these first, so we've got here at the top here, we've got all the different tools we can have so we can add in extra labels if I want to do an extra title or I can click here to make a button and I can just click and the main ones you're going to want to have is go to next record and you can choose what you want the pitch to look like so I'm just going to have the arrow and that you're going to want to have go to previous and you can arrange them how you want so I might want them like that now the other two buttons you need are on the record operation, so you're going to want add new record, and you're going to want save record. Well, I'll show you what I mean by these in a minute. So record operations and save record and finish. Now if I go to view, you see at the minute it's got data and I've already seen so if I click this I can go through all of the pieces of data inside my database. Now if I click this one you see it's blank so I might say manufacture might be don't know how you spell it Skoda um, Skoda Octavia in yellow bought it for a thousand pounds I'm selling it for 1200 it's a 2012 model doesn't need to clean and it's got um, now I can click the save button now if I look at my cars just close that and reopen it see my Skoda Octavia has been added to my database so my input form has worked I could add as many as I want I could you know click that again I could just put in and again, if I close my cars database, open it up, you see I've got my terrible entry I just did. So that's your basic form. So if you get asked to make a form in the IGCSE exam, these are the main sort of buttons you're going to have. I'm not going to ask you to do much more than that. In terms of how it looks and things, you can have a bit of a play about. I'm not going to go through every single way you can change things, but things like changing fonts and things like that is relatively simple. Yeah, I can choose fonts and sizes and if you want to add in things like pictures you can do insert image and browse image and stick it in there and so on. So that is your creating a basic form in Access.